I'm basically getting some something to eat after work at this spot right here. Nothing, nothing fancy. Homeless lady comes walking up. I really don't have the money, but I have enough money for my food, so I back up. Cause I'm thinking maybe she's gonna ask me for some something and I gotta say no. And I'm a little leery and you know, I don't know how long she's been on the street. You know, black lady. I'm not trying to be bad about it. The crazy part is that the lady, as I'm watching it, watching the whole scene unfold, she starts asking for what she wants. She wants a coffee, she wants a Coca-Cola, all those particular things, not a problem. Thinking, well, maybe she's gonna look to me and say, you know, can I get a dollar, sir, or could you help me pay for it? And I'm like, damn, I ain't, I ain't got the money. I ain't really got it on me right now. I wanna tell this lady no. Then, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, she asks how much it is, and she starts pulling dollar after dollar after dollar out of her pocket. I'm like, oh, okay, I see what it is. Point is, is that you never know who people are. You never know what they got going on just because of how they look, because of how they appear. And you know, I'm not trying to judge the lady, but sometimes folks walk up on you because just a few minutes before that, I had two uh, uh, gay uh, black men, you know, walk up on me and ask for some money, you know, and I really didn't have it for them. So, you know, and I'm on the block where there's homeless people. So you really don't know what's gonna happen. It just so happens that this person, this individual, probably have more money in their pocket than me so it goes back to the old saying never judge a book by its cover or a person by their clothes or by their appearance because you just never know they may have more going on than you anyway thanks for listening